editable sl editable spline geometry rollout the connect button so first let's make an editable spline we're gonna go up in the top viewport we're gonna create an arc spline and so here I have my arc spline I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna pick on it I'm gonna right click I'm gonna to convert to an editable spline now I'm gonna come over here into my command panel and choose the plus sign next to edible spline and choose the vertex sub object I'm gonna come down into my geometry rollout in my geometry rollout I'm gonna choose the connect button and what the connect button does is it draws a segment uh, so it'll draw uh, basically this uh, segment from one end point to the other so at this point I need to hold my left mouse button down and notice how I get a plus sign I'm gonna hold my left mouse button down and I'm gonna drag it over to a, to another endpoint when I get it there you'll see I get a little indicator there um, and all I gotta do is let go and it drew in a segment from one end of, of the vertex to the other end of the vertex I'm gonna right click and I've created now that segment from one vertex endpoint to the other vertex endpoint so essentially the trick of this is one I have to go to my editable line choose vertex come down say connect hold my left mouse button over and pick one of the endpoints and keep holding it down and drag it across till I pick the other then I can let go and then I can right click so the connect button is used for uh, the, the vertex sub object level it's used to connect two and vertices of a spline by creating a segment in between those two vertices